Welcome to the Grantful Report, where we gradually report. <laughs> Welcome to the Gradual Report, where we gradually report. Scientists at the Huizman Institute in <laughs> Israel. Huizman. Sounds like they could be real scientists. Or at least science whizzes <laughs> have managed to build a reliable logic gate out of neurons instead of wires. 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 They took glass coated with cell repellent and then they etched the desired circuit pattern. The pattern itself was then coated with cell friendly adhesive, or as I like to call it, semen, ah! which forced these cells to only grow in the etched area. I can't quite put my head around it. Let me see if I can if I can make this easier to understand to you. Think of a lake of oil that's on fire. And on this lake there are a path of Vaseline covered cloths that you can walk across. There, that pretty much it's it's an intellectual comedy. I do. I take that which is difficult to explain and then it, you know, put it on a platter, if you will, for those that otherwise would not be able to understand it. The method has been used to replicate an AND logic gate. What's an AND logic gate? An AND logic gate is a logic gate that requires two inputs for one output. One input, no output. Two inputs, output. You see what I'm saying? You kinda, you kinda get what I'm saying here? This, of course, provokes the ultimate question of who gives a shit? Though there are many researchers that call this as impressive as a bull shitting into a toilet, the researchers involved believe the project will serve as a stepping stone that could bridge the gap between circuitry and your brain, creating a way for machines to ultimately build a superior race of cyborgs that are able to mimic human beings. Final summation! Computers have already taken over the social fabric of our thought and collective consciousness by creating the Google. These computers have just now trained scientists to create computers out of biological material, creating an interface for pure integration into our brain. Which leads this friendly reporter to the valid conclusion that the Matrix is indeed real and I expect to be taken away by an agent soon. <laughs> I'll see you tasty little neurons growing on glass plates the day after tomorrow, where we continue our important work. Mildly entertaining, hardly educational, but always funny. This has been My Ballsack in Your Mouth.